Welcome back everybody, Dylan aka Druxy here again, going to give you a few tips on how to get by in the wasteland and to make your fallout endeavours as good as they possibly can be. Alrighty, number one. Sleeping also regenerates HP, there's no need to use those mats like Stimpak or the food you've been trying to save to regenerate your HP. If there's a bed nearby, make sure you guys use it. You may want to sleep for a couple of hours, but you'll wake up feeling fresh. Number two, holstering your weapon. When you're going for a run and there's no need to have your weapon out, hold down your reload key to put this into your holster so you run a little bit faster. This is done by holding down the R key if you're on PC. Number three, get a bell in your establishment. Having a bell and ringing the bell will get all your settlers and workers to come to the near vicinity of that specific bell. You'll notice that some of them may take a little while depending on how far away they are, but even Sir Preston will come in and your other settlers will also follow. This includes Codsworth and your trusty dog, Dogmeat. Number four, make sure you scrap everything possible. There is no need to have all these wasted items sitting on the road when you can scrap them for materials you may use, you may not use, but it's better to have them in case you do. And also, if you do want the item, you just pick it up and place it where you actually want it. Like I am doing now with this couch, that'd be a nice place to sit or for my settlers to sit to relax. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it right here. Number five, always check dog meat or your other followers and companions for the things that they might have on them. You'll see that I left my camera here and I was actually looking for some crystal, but hey, I've got it now and I can build what I need to build. And yes, if you didn't know, your companions slash followers can hold items for you. So make sure that when you're getting full, you just transfer your items across. But have them on yourself in your inventory if you want to be able to use these items immediately. Number six, recruit settlers. It's always good to have just a small group, but expanding on this will give you more food, more beds, greater happiness, and a better defense system. This is done by going into your workshop, followed by power, and power miscellaneous, and the first one there. It does take some mats to create, but lucky for you, I have another video on my YouTube channel showing you just how to get these specific items. Don't forget to activate the radio beacon, otherwise you will not have anybody rock up to your town. Number seven, make sure you plant food and crops prior to recruiting these settlers. You can notice that the mup fruit plant produces one food as opposed to corn and carrot only producing 0.5. Make sure you assign your settlers to the mup fruit plant and ensure that the people coming to your town to seek residency are nice and fed. Number eight, use a quick slot and favorite feature. You can do this by going into your pit boy and favoriting a specific item on PC that's with Q and placing it in the desired slot that you want. When you're out of the pit boy, you can press F to view all these and then correspond by pressing the number or button to place this item out in your hands. That's it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see any more of these, make sure you leave a comment. And as always, until next time.